if you examine the histopathological slide you will notice that there is goblet cell hyperplasia there is in increased mucus production Now let us see what happens in chronic bronchitis. If you examine the histopathological slide, you will notice that there is goblet cell hyperplasia. There is in increased mucus production and occasionally you may notice that there is squamous metaplasia. Does that mean there is increased risk of development of lung cancer in patients with COPD? The answer is yes. So this squamous metaplasia kind of explains that. Okay. Then on the smooth muscle layer, there is some degree of smooth muscle hypertrophy, but it is not as much as we encounter in patients with bronchial asthma. There it's a, it's a predominant finding. Here we do encounter some degree of smooth muscle hypertrophy, but not that much. The striking finding we notice in uh, in this slide is the hyperplasia of submucosal glands. Okay. So uh, there is more number of submucosal glands than a normal counterpart, okay. and this we can quantitatively measure by calculating something known as Reed index. Reed index is the ratio of the distance between the surface airway epithelium and the cartilage and the distance occupied by the submucosal glands this one this portion normally uh, in a normal person the uh, submucosal glands are limited in number and that's why the reed index is usually less than 0.4 normal but in patients with COPD it's usually more than 0.4 So that is suggestive of chronic bronchitis. Okay.